Hi guys, welcome to this week's vlog. For those of you who are new here, you are extremely welcome. For those of you who are returning, welcome back. There is not much happening this week, let's be honest. We're in level five lockdown and you can't leave your house unless it's essential. You can't go more than five kilometers and now they're starting to find people, which is a bit worrying. So today is Tuesday. We are starting off on a Tuesday and I don't know about you, it's the second day of homeschool this week and it's gone to pot. My kids have done nothing this morning but spark off each other. I have one, two of them upstairs doing homeschool. Okay, they're older kids, they're 16 and 17. One's talking too loud, the other one has to concentrate. They're just fighting, just sparking off each other. And then I've Kerry in her room trying to do online courses for the HSE, trying to get all that done so she can start her new job. Do you know, I got into my car today and I actually put, reset the, the what you call it, counter. You know the clock's up the kilometres in your car? Reset that to zero and I drove, drove for five kilometres, sat there, had a coffee, drove home. Because if I wasn't getting out of the house, someone was going to die. And it was just that type of morning. Everyone was just sparking off. When I came home, there was a parcel at the door for Miss Kerry from Sheen. So she is trying that on at the moment and she is truly happy with herself. She's actually bouncing and I think that's nice because it'll do her confidence good before she starts her new job. That's your oh. parcel. Oh. Are you going to let us see what's in it? gone in to change out of her uniform or her uniform her sheen order i have actually made myself a coffee with some fresh whipped cream and some chocolate on top it is half nine i'm going to clean my kitchen and i'm going to head to bed Is it perfect? Not at all. Is it enough that I can walk into the kitchen in the morning and not go, oh, I have to clean the kitchen? Yeah, it'll do. Water's filled up in the hot water tank, ready for coffee in the morning. We will put on the dishwasher before bed and then we're good to go. Hello. All right. Okay, lads, I will see you in the morning for coffee. Good morning guys, it is Wednesday morning and it is half nine. I know we were meant to meet for coffee today, 
but I have to bring Kerry up to get her blood test today to start her new job. She has to go for a blood test for her hep B, I think it is. She's already had two vaccines for the um, hep B and she needs to get a blood test today just to see if she has built up enough antibodies and if she hasn't she has to get another hep B vaccine so that's what we're doing today this is for her new job starting I think she's getting on a world to wait and she has fire training today at 11 so she's to log on to a zoom call for that and then we're also waiting to hear back for her COVID test which is going to be in Dublin airport because she has to have that done before she can start work so yeah so busy little week ahead I think she finishes up her internship tomorrow so I am sitting here I made a coffee I did make a coffee but I've only just started drinking it <laughs> so I'm sitting here waiting for it to come out from a blood test <sighs> she's so funny she gets so nervous doing like blood tests and stuff mind you she has the last two times we've gone for blood tests for her. she's quite small veins and they do find it hard to get the needle to get the blood so um yeah they tend to poke around with her but um right i'm going to go i'm going to wait for it to come in i'm going to watch some youtube while i have a moment's peace and i will chat to you in a bit Today poor El Kerry had to go and get her injections. She was meant to get a blood test, they didn't give her a blood test, they gave her two injections instead. They gave her her Hep B injection and they also gave her the flu injection. So she's upstairs feeling quite sorry for herself and in her best little little girl voice said to me, Mum will you make a flan for dessert because I'd like one. So I said okay. That is what we do. So today we are making my flan. So I've just taken the flan out of the fridge. It's all set, ready to go. Now we haven't had dinner yet. So technically I shouldn't be eating this. But do you know what? For you, I'm going to do this and risk getting in trouble with my kids. Hello guys and welcome to Thursday morning. I'm just about to head out the door. I have to go and collect Haley's medicine. I just got a a message from the chemist to go do that and I need to go get butter and some bread we've neither so how was your day going how are you we're over the worst we're heading to the weekend please god it's, well, it's meant to be very cold this weekend I think so I think we were just gonna have a nice big fire this weekend Kerry wants me to watch something on Netflix can't remember what and um, I need to get a cast device because Haley's broke I gave her mine so I need to get one for downstairs in the living room. So yeah, so that's our plan for today. We are going to go to the chemist, go to the supermarket, Argus I think. So did you all have a good Wednesday? We all got over Wednesday. We made a beautiful fruit flan here and it's nearly gone. There's only about a quarter of it left. So I'll just show you today. Beautiful blue skies today. Absolutely gorgeous. Nice and sunny. My backyard doesn't get the sun in the winter. But it's nice and sunny, but it's only four degrees. So it's a little bit chilly. So I'm just back from going to the shops. Got Haley's prescription. We're all sorted. And I was just looking on my weather app and we have got a weather warning for cold weather and a winter cast advisory for Sunday. So the weather warning is from Wednesday straight through till Sunday midnight. And the weather cast is for, or the winter cast is for Sunday. So I'm actually going to go back out the door. I'm going to go back up to Woody's. Sorry, I'm not having my hat, my head in a hat because it's freezing. So I'm going to go back up to Woody's. I want to pick up some coal and some um, wood for my fire. Just It's always handy to have the electricity goes out or even sit and watch a telly overnight. It's nice to have it where the, the fire is lighting and it's just an extra source of heat. Plus, I want to go out. I've just rang Woody's and they have the gas back in. So I want to get that and that's for my gas heater, which is just handy for downstairs. It tends to be cooler than upstairs because I only have two rooms downstairs, but they're two big open rooms and the radiators struggle really to keep them really warm where upstairs gets really hot, obviously. So I'm going to do that. Before I go up, I'm going to throw on the dinner and I will show you we're having savoury mince for dinner tonight. So it's going to go in my slow cooker 
for a couple of hours. In this bowl I have some frozen, it's like a, I think they call it Tesco's frozen um, base mix. And literally it's carrots, onion, celery, really really finely diced. And then I have some frozen diced tomatoes. So I'm going to throw them in. And then I have got, sorry I've just taken these out of my freezer yesterday so I just leave them in the bag. So it's savoury mince, I've two packets of that. And we have got family size 4% fat lean steak mince. So I'm literally going to just throw all them into my slow cooker with um, a pint of water. And that will be it on and done in about four hours. It is savoury mince with carrot, celery and onion within a savoury mince sauce with mashed potatoes on the bottom. Good evening guys and welcome to Friday. Excuse me for having my hat on, I am just about to run out the door. So today I decided we would order in dinner for Kerry because all her paperwork came through, her letter of offer, even though she'd been told verbally she had the job, her letter of offer came through today in the post and she got all her documents to sign and she did all that so she's absolutely chuffed so it's all official so tonight i'm ordering in and she was allowed to pick where we ordered in from and i'm just going out to collect the dinner now i also went out earlier and i picked her up a cake to celebrate so we're having a little celebratory evening now on a she also got the date for her covid test and she's very nervous it is this Sunday, so it won't be in this vlog, it'll be in probably next week's vlog, depending on how it goes and how she reacts. Obviously, if she's upset over it, I'm not going to put it in, but if she doesn't um, and it all goes to plan, I will have it in next week's vlog. So yeah, this Sunday we have to go up, she's to get her COVID test at 11, between 11 and quarter past 11, I think. And there's so many, I know, obviously there has to be precautions taken, but there's just so many instructions you have to do if you're driving the vehicle, if you're getting tested, if you're not getting tested, but you're driving the person who is getting tested. So yeah, so when I went out to get her her cake today, it was actually quite funny. I had to go through four checkpoints, two on the way there and two on the way back. And uh, yeah, that was a bit weird, but it is absolutely Baltic out. It is one degree and there's a warning of ice so I'm leaving a little bit earlier they say the dinner will be ready in a half an hour for collection it takes about 10 minutes to get there 15 minutes to get there but I'm just taking my time I'm just going to go so I'm not having to rush and I am going to go do that I will show you when we what I get when we come back we are going to the Irish chain called Supermax which is one of our favorites so I will show you sorry my eye is just they're itchy my two eyes so we're after coming back from Supermax. So this is what I got Haley. It's a chicken club um, pizza. And Cara got a double pepperoni pizza. And in here is all the chips and stuff. But I'll show you when all them come out. Anyway, do you want to open yours? So this is what Kerry got. Nine chicken nuggets and a garlic cheese fries. Mm -hmm. And a Sprite. And that's Carl's chips. Chips. Well, that's my burger <laughs> so that's my chips and my burger which is the mighty mac not to be confused with the big mac it's a mighty one so that's Kerry's mine and Carl's so this is the cake we got Kerry to celebrate her job it's a three layer sponge cake and we had to go through four no less four guard the checkpoints to get this cake for you we had a lovely piece of cake and Kerry was chuffed and she was thrilled that we'd uh, decided to celebrate it in some way so I'm going to show you my fire there's a weather warning outside as I said earlier in the vlog so I'm just going to show you my fire and how cozy we're all sitting tonight so this is my fire zoom in it's just so I don't know there's something about a real fire when you see it and you smell it and you hear a crackling and you hear you see the flames dancing there is just something so relaxing about it and something very cozy and homely and 
you just feel nice and and relaxed and TV's off, it's time for bed. So guys, I'm going to go to bed. Um, as you see, it's level five lockdown in Ireland. We're still not able to do anything and we just heard on the news earlier on today that it is going to be extended probably until March some point. And they have just cancelled the Patrick's Day Parade as well. So yeah, so loads of stuff to look forward to. Right, I'm going to go and I will see you on Monday when we do week three of our pantry challenge and we are going to rearrange our pantry, I think, that day. So, talk to you then. Take care. Bye-bye.